first, let's get into the Lakers because obviously they're a, a team that we have to talk about in terms of this trade. And it seems that the Lakers actually gave up on trade talks weeks ago because of the Spurs' outrageous price tag. They were asking for three young players on top of three first round picks. The Lakers reportedly were so fed up that they didn't even think the Spurs were taking this seriously. They thought the Spurs were using this as a big joke that they were actually going to trade him to the Lakers, which I told you at the start of the offseason when this all went down that he wasn't going to end up going to the Lakers because the Spurs didn't want to trade him to the West. So we'll see what happens to the Lakers in terms of what they're going to do now that Kawhi is gone to the Raptors, but it seems very clear that they don't want to make some outrageously huge trade And they're also obviously still the favorite to land Kawhi long-term. Hey, we get to see the kids with LeBron this year. It'll be a lot of fun. Let's go to our next Lakers rumor here. Could the Lakers get Kawhi Leonard at the deadline? No. No. Not going to happen. The Lakers are not getting Kawhi Leonard at the deadline. There there was a rumor that if the Raptors' relationship with Kawhi really falters as well as their on-court play, they could make a move and get Kawhi out of town but I don't think it's going to be to the Lakers. I don't think they're going to pay for him at this point. Just take the year, enjoy LeBron, and see what happens. I know this is one of LeBron's last years at like the apex of his basketball talents, but who knows when his peak is going to be done. This is LeBron James that we're talking about here. It could literally last until, who knows, till I start having kids. I mean, who knows? This is LeBron James. I, the dude could be an elite NBA basketball player till he's 50. No idea. Last rumor that we got for you here with the Lakers – Magic Johnson was, during the Summer League Championship, said some very, very interesting things, saying that he built the roster around the Rockets and the Celtics roster, saying, quote, you're not going to out Golden State, Golden State. And then this is my favorite comment here that we have uh, for him from Magic Johnson. Houston had tough guys. Boston had tough guys. So what did I bring in? Tough guys. They brought in two tough guys in Rajon Rondo and Lance Stevenson, I guess, Is LeBron a tough guy? Would you call LeBron a tough guy? Like when you're talking about like the tough guy tag, does LeBron get the tough guy tag? I don't know. I'll give it to him because he's LeBron James. He is the smartest player in basketball. So maybe, but like the roster is certainly unique. And we've seen multiple teams attempt to beat the Warriors and what the Warriors do best. And it just hasn't worked. I'm all for trying new things here. I mean, I've tried a bunch of new things on my show that you guys have loved. And I'm all about new and inspiring things, especially when they're as unique as this Lakers roster. But let me know in the comments section. Is this Lakers roster good enough to beat the Warriors? No, it's not. Sorry, Magic. I know you're trying to do something new and something fun here. But no, the Lakers roster at this time is not good enough to beat the Golden State Warriors. And it's just kind of funny that I know what Magic Johnson's trying to do. He's trying to save his money for next offseason, but the Lakers roster is not as good as the Warriors. It's kind of funny that he's even trying at this point. They only got LeBron. There's no way without a second star that that they're going to beat the Warriors next year.